Happy New Year! January 1st, 2020, and uh, well, just for the bragging rights, I kind of had to be here. First into the park, first on Vampire of the Year in the decade. But I haven't been on a roller coaster all year and all decade. I feel like I've been turning my enthusiast card right now. I'm sorry, that was a terrible joke, I kind of had to. Uh, now, I had planned to come down on the 29th and the 31st, but a bit of queue watching left me uh, at a no no. I also saw what happened on the 30th. <laughs> That's a story for an, an, another day and a, another time to sit down and discuss. I'll just sit down and discuss it in a queue later if I get really bored. Uh, but yeah, here and now, January 1st, December, not December, January 1st, 2020. Winter's Tale is still a thing. It's still on. It's still happening. So uh, yeah, let's, let's do this. Objective one completed. First guest of the year and the decade into Chessington. Objective two, first guest of the year and the decade on Vampire, underway. Let's do this. Are they preemptively put 15 minutes up? <laughs> or have hotel guests already got into the park? Because stand down was a couple of minutes late. <laughs> Felt sorry for the poor uh, host on the gate. She's on her own. <laughs> She was how I could survive the stampede. So, fingers crossed for objective two. But, not really much I can do about that if someone's already got in. So, I'm hoping, fingers are all crossed, I'm praying. We just won't know. And it's gonna be a slow ride because it's cold. It's really cold. So, we we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, today's line of business. As much vampire as is humanly possible. Uh, I will film a closed season update. Right, there's been enough changes. There might not have been any changes over this period. Uh, just wait and see, really. Take the day as it comes. But. I know what I want to do. Get as much riding in on Vampire as possible. Because there's not many days left. There's today, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth. Six more days to ride Vampire before March. So I gotta get my my fair share in and into darkness. Objective two. Completed. To be fair, I'm going to say it's going to be close to rivaling what I did on the 24th because uh, I came without my camera on the 24th and I think I mentioned it in the last vlog. Uh, I did not leave the Wildwoods, in fact, I didn't leave the area immediately contained to Vampire uh, except for once, and that was to go to the toilet. Because <laughs> uh, I'm practicing for all day coaster marathons because who wouldn't want to do an all, all day coaster marathon or something? And obviously, there is like, I, I really, really, really want to break the world record for the most amount of time spent on a record. You know what? It's coming, so uh, let's film. That 
was uh, actually quite a good shot to be fair. But yeah, so basically what I want to do is I want to break the uh, world record for the longest consecutive amount of time spent on a roller coaster. Now currently it stands something like 490 hours after Guinness redid the record because it's currently held by someone called I think it's James Rodriguez on Big Dipper at Blackpool. Uh, so he did he did it for a thousand hours, but Guinness re re uh, calculated and it's now something like 490. I reckon it's about three weeks to do. Uh, based on off-peak days. Uh, but that is assuming that I literally don't leave uh, the queue, the station. I shouldn't even leave the train. So, I want to do it, but I don't just want to do it on any ride. I want to do it on the Smiler, because I'm insane. Because that's bragging rights. Oh, I spent three plus weeks on the Smiler without getting off. And it was like, how did you survive? I was like, because that'd be awesome. But to be fair, I'd be just happy doing it on Vampire, because it'd be good fun on Vampire as well. I just want to do it on like a good ride, a proper ride, uh, one that I would enjoy spending three weeks of my life on. <laughs> yeah, I have got, I have hit that point in in my enthusiastness where I choose to spend weeks and weeks and weeks on coasters. I've already filmed six minutes of footage and we're already like 15 minutes into the day. See you all. Focus in, focus in, focus in, focus in, focus in, focus in, focus in. I'm here, thank you. So that was ride number two. Uh, Obviously I'm going to do ride number three, because I can, and I will, and I want to, and I shall, and I do. Uh, I'm not exactly going for a high number today, because one train operation and... Uh, one train operation and just the queue's just moving a bit slowly because of one train operation. So, high number's not for today. Today is about doing as many front rides as possible and having fun doing the dispatches. Uh, obviously you'll see the one from uh, the 27th, thanks Paul for recording that. I just put him on the spot and went, just film me, film me, he's like what, film me, film me. He's like okay, <laughs> see I put him on the spot there, so he did, he did good that, he did good there to be fair. Uh, so that's just sort of like what I'm doing now, because who needs a PA, who needs a PA when, when I got my voice, my really loud voice that <laughs> echoes around that station and uh, <laughs> really hurts after you do it for a really long time. So, uh, Sean, Nathan, Becca, Lee, I've done it in a really weird order. I completely, like, I have a new level of respect for those four, having done, having done ones myself. I mean, granted, they got the PA, so they don't have to, they don't have to raise their voice as much. But imagine doing that all day for hours new level of respect from me. If there was possible to have any more respect for them, I don't, really don't know. I respect them all. I respect everyone here so highly. Uh, so, who knows? <laughs> I don't know. I'm cold and I'm rambling and I'm happy because I'm a vampire. And they can still say this. I was the first person on vampire. I was the first person to sit down on vampire today. So, uh, yeah. Good on that one. See you later. Okay, I don't think everyone's got a New Year's hangover and therefore isn't here. <laughs> Uh, it is starting to busy up now, so it's not the perfect time to go and do a quick close season walk and see if anything's changed. There'll probably be nothing that's changed. <laughs> So after filming that close season, I went for a bit of a wonder, then went in room on the broom, then had lunch and pizza pasta. Because, busy. Uh, I'm now going to hit up Vampy, because Vampy's 20 minutes. Uh, and that'll probably be me for a fair old while, because I'm quite happy on Vampire. <laughs> I'm always happy on Vampire. And Gruffalo's got an actual cue, which is scary, so let's do Vampire. <laughs>
interesting and common question when it comes to vampires, probably my fourth time of the day actually while we're on it. An interesting and common question that comes up with a vampire is which side is better, the right or the left? I've always firmly been in the left camp, even though I did take a few rides in on the right to, just to see what people were saying. And to be honest, the usual argument I get is that it's more intense on the right hand side, but I actually fundamentally disagree. The only point I found more intense on the right hand side, I've just had a ride on the right hand side, uh, the only point I found more intense was upon exit from the tunnel. Otherwise I find the left to be far more intense, far more enjoyable and far more more of the experience that I want off Vampire. I don't know, it's each to their own, but I'm firmly in the go on the left hand side of Vampire if you get a chance and a choice, because it's better. Uh, but if you've got kids, make sure they're sat on the right. Uh, as, I, as, I, as I saw someone on the Mind Angle Pass Holes group learn out the, learn the hard way, don't stick kids on the left, on the left hand side because you as an adult tend to block them when it comes to the camera. So if you want that photo, kids on the right, adults on the left. If you're on your own, you want a good experience, on the left. Basically, adults always sit on the left hand side. I mean, yeah. Also, as you saw, Lee's hopping, so, go Lee. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna keep going around Vampire. I filmed the close season, I've got nothing else that I really wanna film, and need to film, so I'm just gonna keep filming the vlog while I sit here and uh, re-ride Vampy over and over and over again, because that's my idea of fun. And come on, it's still awesome. Because let's be honest, first rider of the year, 2020, and the decade, the 20s. It's the Roaring 20s, twice. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna hold on to that, I like that. I like that. Uh, so yeah, uh, in that I'm just about it. Cue supposedly half an hour, but I don't really care. I don't really care. See you on the other side. One of the perks of being a single rider is slipping onto the back row uh, when there's a huge ROP queue. So yeah, we'll hate for that. <laughs> I'm gonna go around again because it's vampire. I'm gonna call that a slice of luck because I was literally just jumping out uh, of. Uh, the Gruffalo shop, as, a, as a, the chain I literally got down to that point as it released. So, uh, fingers crossed on that one. I can just about cross my fingers in these gloves. To be fair, love my gloves. Q uh, turns is 30 minutes. I'm not going to include the walk, but I am going to time it for the guys. They were asking me, and I didn't pay attention to what time I entered the queue. Uh, and there's no timestamps on these, so I can't even work out from a timestamp on here how long I queued. So, I'm, so from the point in time I stop, I'm going to set my stopwatch and uh, time the queue for them so they know. Because <laughs> I'm helpful like that, I'm really nice. Destined to manage for please like me. I'm friendly, I promise. I promise I'm friendly. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, my idea of New Year's Day, spending it on vampire, <laughs> yes. Always yes. To be fair, the only better way I could have spent New Year's Day, Christmas Eve, all that stuff, is if, if the smile was open, but it's not. So. Vampy is my second favourite ride of all time. Takes that cake. <sighs> now, sometimes you forget how eerie it is down here when there's no queue, no audio, and nothing. It's just like the sort of the very weird ambience, mu ambience music. And you sort of forget how creepy it is because it is really creepy. And it's good because creepy is good because creepy is vampire. Gotta stop being like friendly. Creepy is good. I'm glad I got to film that clip. I only got to film that clip. Uh, Gruffalo's shut, so I'm getting in Vampy now. Uh, I timed it at 20, 22 minutes, but I stopped it halfway down the queue uh, for the, my row, so about 25 minutes. Uh, now, it's in the station, so that's like 10. <laughs> uh, but I have got to get the phone, because Emma's now back hopping, which means I can start shouting out dispatches again. I am going to try and record one myself, but I get very into it, and I start doing actions. I, I do like the, like the proper like maniacal laugh, <laughs> that sort of thing. Uh, I've never really worked out how to, to camera 
to shout really loudly, make it sound creepy, meanwhile also nailing the actions because it's a performance. A, a big performance. I'm, as you can see by filming videos, I'm a creative person. This is kind of my sting. Uh, and then there's stuff I care about and I'll make it perfect. So yeah, as you do. Whatever. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> On to the right. So I'm gonna give this a try because I can but try. If it fails, if it works, yes. If it fails, oh well. Sit back. Hold on tight. It's time to face the vampire's might. <laughs> Did that work? I don't know, but what the hell? <laughs> the lights are all on, the queue's still quite reasonable. I'm just gonna keep doing it, because I can, because it's fun, because I love it. And it's all worth it. Uh, so, yeah, it's a vampire. So yeah, this is going to be my last ride, but to be fair, that photo, I found my thumbnail. Like, I intended it to be the thumbnail photo, but like, I found my thumbnail. That's a good photo. Like, I wanted the motion, I wanted the, the, the motion, motion light blur. That's exactly what I wanted. And so, uh, yeah, <laughs> apart from one walk through one room on the broom to warm up, my day has been on Vampire and it's been a brilliant day. I mean, <laughs> You saw one of the two dispatches I did. Because uh, the other one... What did I do for the first one? I can't remember what I did for the first one. Uh, in some ways, I'm, I'm quite glad I've done so few. Because... Uh, less than the vo Hurts my voice less. But Chessington Management, if you're watching it and you fancy someone to record some new announcements for Vampire, this guy here, he likes it. He does very good announcements. This guy here right here on this camera. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was absolutely shameless. But, Chess and Demarge, if you do like it, hit me up, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I am sorry. I do it more for the love of fun. It, it's, it's actually really good fun doing it. It's not even, there's no end game to me doing it. I like doing it, I have fun doing it myself. And generally, the people on the train that I I do my dispatches for seem to like it, or if they're a little uh, shocked. I have had one or two round of applause. Uh, mostly on the ones off camera though. <laughs> but to be fair, it's all good fun. Anyway, hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get one last nighttime ride in on the wonderful vampire. Tell me you're not a tag creeped out by that. I mean, I am. <laughs> it's really creepy when the stage is empty and quiet and there's nothing going on, but it is so worth it. Last rider of the day on the front row. What more could I ask for? This stage has been brilliant. It's been so, so good. So much riding on Vampire. Literally, Vampire, 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 apart from one little break on room on the room. And three dispatches, so my voice is going to be totally dead yet. <laughs> I just love this place. I'm gonna miss all this so much when the Winter's Tale ends on January 6th because it didn't really hit in between uh, October and the middle of November. It's kind of like it didn't even really, it just, it just flew by. But this is gonna be a long, long, long couple of months without all this. Ah well, let's do that last ride of the day. No photos from my last ride uh, because I, I hung around and just was chatting to the guys on Vampy. So, that's all right. They're cool to chat to anyway. <laughs> so, 
that was a really good ride to end the day. Uh, the, the ride was great fun. Uh, I'm glad I didn't record the dispatch because I feel like the dispatch was a bit naff. <laughs> I wasn't happy with it, I messed up the intonation. So I'm glad I didn't record that one. <laughs> but I will do a proper video recording all, all, all of them and doing it properly, showcasing my skills. So I want to hire me Chessington Management. Good one. Anyway. I'm definitely coming back before the end of end of the event, sometime in January, because it is January. It ends January 6th. I'm definitely coming back before then. Definitely coming back before end of the event. So uh, when that'll be, not sure. If the camera's here, also not sure. Till the next time. Bye. So I said bye, uh, but I've got more to say. A day of first, definitely. First into the park, first on Vampy, last on Vampy, that's not a first. First visit of 2020, on the first day of 2020, this is a lot of firsts. Uh, don't comment first. Don't comment first. Anyone who comments first, I just, I don't, as a filter set up, the word first is automatically filtered. So if anyone wonders why their comments, when they say, oh, it's my first time right, it's because your comment gets filtered out. <laughs> And then I manually put them back in comments, say first, first comment, anything like that. Just gets deleted straight away, because it's pointless. There's no point, for, let, let, just don't fill my comments with pointless drivel. Let's have sensible conversations about, about what we like about theme parks and what's so good and what we'd like to do again and all that stuff and all that jazz. Uh, yeah, Kensington's been perfect today. The guys have been amazing as always. To be fair, they probably watch this and they, 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 they'd be really hurt if I was rude to them, rude about them on camera. No, hi. Anyone who's been here today, if you're watching this, hi. You've been great. It was really nice seeing you all again. My big extended Chessington family, as I call you. So yeah, thanks for an amazing day. And I will see everyone whenever the next time will be.